I'm Jessica Sowers, owner of Body Bliss Connection. I'm Jamie Marich. I'm a clinical trauma specialist, expressive arts therapist, author, and co-founder of Yoga Unchained. I am also the co-founder of Yoga Unchained. Nice deep inhale and exhale. You want to pick a point either on the floor about six to eight feet out in front of you or out in front of you at the wall and just have a very nice gentle soft gaze at the wall nothing harsh you want to be sure that you pick a point that's not moving something that is just soft and steady finding our nice strong base and shift the weight into the left foot very slowly, we'll start to drag that right foot over, placing the sole of the foot against the inside of the left ankle. Our right knee is opening out towards the side. Core muscles are pulled in to lengthen, and that left hip is pulled in to create that nice long line. Staying right here, or inviting that foot to slide up the leg where the heel comes just underneath the knee. Continuing to open the right knee outward and maybe the arms lift and express in any way that feels good. Another option here is to continue to lengthen that leg and pull the leg up. You can pull the leg up higher onto the thigh, but you want to ensure that the toes are above the knee. Yes. So no pressure whatsoever on that knee. There's no part of the bent leg of that foot that should be resting on the knee at all. So I always remember it, heel below the knee or toes above the knee. And that's one way to help protect so you're not putting pressure and kicking that knee out to the side. Right, mm -hmm. very nice. Jamie, how does tree posture make you feel? This is my favorite balancing pose, I think because the tree has a lot of meaning for me mm -hmm. as a grounding symbol, as a grounding object. Uh, yet, I, I think why I liked this pose, even from the beginning, was the variation an, inst an instructor gave me that I could use the wall. Mm -hmm. Because I know when I started a yoga practice, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my balance felt completely lost yeah. yet I think it was this pose maybe what it's why I have special meaning to me is where I found that yeah I can balance mm -hmm. again I just may need to use some of these props to help mm -hmm. me find that balance so yeah and, and I like the danciness the the mm -hmm. freedom that it gives you to do what you need with your arms how about you how does it make you feel I, I really enjoy tree pose as well it feels um it feels grounding to me I feel rooted so mm -hmm. that whole meaning of roots growing down through yeah. the ground and nourishment from the earth that that's what this posture I even got goosebumps saying that that's what this yeah. posture symbolizes to me is that nourishment yeah and strength I think what's so important about facilitating this or sharing it is to do that strong mountain first mm -hmm. uh, to really notice your grounding before you challenge the balance so it's like noticing the roots before you challenge what the branches can do right essentially uh, yeah I mean my clinical connection to this breath or this posture hopefully done with a lot of good breath <laughs> is that it does offer a creative way to teach grounding a more mm -hmm. embodied way to teach grounding yet I think also sharing some gentle balance challenging can have some nice clinical value as well um, so I know sometimes and I, I learned this years ago but it's something I've used because I have struggled with dissociation and driftiness to do the tree posture as part of my morning practice mm -hmm. and if I find myself struggling it with any way, it's not something to shame myself about, right. but it does kind of serve as a litmus test or a check for me mm -hmm. about if I really am here and now mm -hmm. or if I'm striving or if my mind is wandering somewhere mm -hmm. uh, I just find so much value with this pose well this pose has helped me immensely as well I, I have one of those brains that just likes to go 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 so fast and so much yeah. that I can't even keep track of all of the thoughts <laughs> so one of the beautiful things about balanced postures um, and, and tree in particular is that I really want you to try it and experience and see how many thoughts your mind's having while you're trying to balance. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very few, if any. You're really focused. It pulls you inward and you're focusing on what your body has to do to keep that and maintain that balance. So it's really good for my mind because it allows me to let go of all the, all the, yep. all the little chitter chatter that's happening in the brain. 
Well, let's go right to modifications because yeah. I know when I instruct this clinically, grab yeah, I grab the chair. This is a pose I find very useful in one-on-one -on -one counseling settings mm -hmm. if a client is open and willing, particularly because I do facilitate so much grounding, both in preparation and closure in various therapeutic modalities that I use. And often it's I will find them needing to use the chair or the wall in my office. So mm -hmm. I'll have Jess come into yeah. some of these mods. So using the chair is easy because you can use a table, a chair at home, anything that's yeah. in an office, anything like that. And it's just a matter of finding your mountain pose behind the chair and allowing a couple fingers to rest. Sometimes it takes just that. Other times it's a whole hand to grasp on. But either way is okay. So just finding that little bit of stability in that non-moving object. And again, finding that soft focus point. Mm. I'll shift my weight into that right leg and start to drag that left foot over and open the leg outward. Slide the heel up. And again, that right hip pulls in so I lengthen nice and tall. And just those fingertips here. Okay, so let's the, yeah. work with the wall. The wall is almost the same thing as the chair. The hand simply reaches out to the wall you find your balance on that right leg and bring the left foot in and build your, build your tree pose here. That opposite arm is more than welcome to express while you retain the balance from the wall. Yeah. Very good. Ooh, I feel like I'm at the ballet bar again. Uh -huh. <laughs> kind of like that. Very nice. So any other bonus details or things we should look out for with tree? Um, some things to keep in mind are that hip popping out. So the mm. strong leg that's down on the ground, a lot of times you'll notice that we pop that hip out to help us find our balance because then we're, we're compensating. But we want to build the strength in the core and the alignment in the spine. So we want to ensure that that hip is pulled in nice and snug. And it's almost as if we take our core muscles and wrap them around our spine. So yeah. we're pulling everything in to keep it long and that helps us with that stability. And I like how you cued the detail of keeping the knee turned out. Yes. Yeah, because if we're here, it changes the posture completely. Um, it, not that it's a bad posture, it's definitely not. It gives us balance. But when we add that hip opener in here, it helps to get a little more energy in the body moving. So you'll notice the feeling is a little different. I, to me, it's a, a better stretch yes. that I experience. And I tell folks when I facilitate this, I'd rather see you at a lower setting oh, yeah. with that good knee turnout than feel you have to do the hardest setting yeah and you're sacrificing that mm -hmm. and that brings up another point that's very important to share as well every day our balance changes totally. the weather can impact it how much water we drink can impact our balance so you want to be mindful of that if you're building your posture your balance posture in your tree pose and you're off today first of all it's okay but if you continue to step up and down with that foot, it is so much better for your body and the muscle memory to simply set the toes on the ground. Don't fight with yourself over it. Mm -hmm. Set the toes down, find that stability, keep everything harnessed in, and go like that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us for Tree. Thank you.